Sunday, January 7th, 1973. It began as a cold rain, rain that soon turned to ice. Highways were jammed, accidents frequent. As that ice built up on limbs of Metro Atlanta's soft pine trees, the trees began to bow, then they snapped. As the limbs came down, they took power lines with them. Families found themselves without electricity, and without a blower fan, natural gas furnaces became useless. It was the start of five days of cold and misery for tens of thousands in Metro Atlanta. Monday morning brought the realization that the damage was widespread and devastating. Trees had come down throughout the city. Electricity remained off for thousands. A Georgia Power called in crews from several states, and soon 3,000 men were trying to get power restored. But it was often a house-to-house -house challenge. Emergency supplies disappeared from store shelves. The price of candles soared. Despite fears, there was adequate food. Yeah. Mayor Sam Massell yeah. urged people to help each other, and many did. The EOA Center and other shelters offered a warm place to stay, a warm meal, and fresh clothes if needed. For those who stayed home, the drama dragged on day after day. Finally, emergency crews began winning the battle. They got power restored one home at a time. They're not that far away, I'm sure. They're, uh, they're working on the line there somewhere, and they should be with you very shortly. The storm cost Georgia Power $3 million. Damage surveys showed losses of tens of millions of dollars to homes and trees. Governor Jimmy Carter asked that metro counties be declared disaster areas. It was the worst storm of the century for Atlanta.